Hey, what's happening guys? I'm G Mac and welcome to part one of Whistleblower. If you've been following my main channel for a while, you'll know I've started a playlist on the main Outlast game, which I fully intend to finish one day. But this is the expansion prequel to Outlast and should shed a bit more light on the goings on in its campaign. If you're interested in the main story, you can follow that on my own channel, I'll leave the link in the description. So let's get started. That's never a good sign. Waking up on the floor surrounded by creepy doctors and masks. Open those eyes. You don't have to wake up, but open your eyes. What's the matter? Did somebody hit you? All right, fuck sake, I'm awake. Let me help. Oh no. Oh. That's one way to wake someone up. Slap in a lick. Kind of busy here. It sounds like real trouble. At the engine, they said Hope made a lateral ascension. What do you hope? They're not happy about it? Yeah. Oh, shit's up. Shit. Fucked up and stuff. Shit, shit, shit. Come on. Don't know what that is, but it looks hella bad. Two hours earlier. You don't know me, you have to make this quick, there might be monitoring. I had two weeks of software consulting at Murkov and Mount Massive, all sorts of NDAs I'm very much breaking right now. Seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening here. Yeah, can't read the rest of that. Terrible things happen here, don't understand it, don't believe half the things I saw, doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountains, people are being hurt and Murkov is making money, it needs to be exposed. Press X to send the mail. Why not? What could possibly go wrong? Famous last words. Thought there may have been someone out to get me, but no. They've paged for you three times already. There's something urgent at the engine. Wait, what are you doing in here anyway? I thought you were just a software guy. Report to Corporogenic Engine Monitoring immediately. Huh? I'm worried about raising my by a pop pop. Yeah, I don't understand anything that they're saying. Sounds like some bullshit Doctor Who would make up. This way? Alright, fuck's sake. I'm gonna walk at one speed. Been ratting you out, you prick. We got a patient 30 seconds out, and we're blind inside his head. Call us in the chamber, ask them to delay. No, I don't need another performance evaluation. This department here is going to have us up and running before we even know it. Right, Mr. Park? Oh, absolutely. I haven't a fucking clue what I'm doing here. Just hit keys and hope for the best. Have you, Mr. Park? Uh, Steve? FMRI is still dark. Doubting our friend, Mr. Wayland Park, which I consider more than unkind to his programming skill and considerable dedication to the Murkoff Corporation. Fuck me, they're bringing him in. Fucking hell. That's messed up. Compelling morphogenic engine software. That means nothing. Hey, calm yourself. This is a high security. It's all right, Agent. Park was just surprised. I'm sure he's 
still calm and eager to finish his work. Take your seat. Quickly, Mr. Park. Then you'll need to roll up diffusion monitoring if not active when you put him in the engine. Five seconds. Four. Three. Yeah, nothing to put the pressure on. No, I wouldn't expect anything less. Psycho. Somebody's been telling stories outside of class. On the floor! Down! Rumbled. Times where I can see him! Mr. Wayland Park. Consulting contract 8208. Software engineer with a level 3 security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Somehow dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Stupid, Mr. Park. More than stupid, in fact. That was crazy. I'm afraid we're yeah, you couldn't wait till you got home to do this. Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? Did you hear that, Agent? He said yes, Mr. Blair. Great. No, I didn't. I didn't oh, say anything. Did I just hear Mr. Whalen Park volunteer for the morphogenic engine program? Absolutely I not. That was brave indeed, Whalen. The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light anesthetic. Gladly. Fuck, if that's a light anesthetic, I'd hate to see a serious one. And here we go with the craziest psychedelic videos again. Seriously fucking with my eyes. No, there's plenty of bits of them, they're just not in the same place. Hell no. Take a break. Stick around with our friend here. Get a little red on their hands. It's always hard if you express yourself. You keep it bottled up too long and you might do something you regret. I think there's health ways of expression and oh, mutilation. Shit. Too good for the likes of us. Think you're different? Something special? There are no observers here. Oh, I'm trapped. Get the fuck 
Okay, I held out some of this stuff. Fucking hell, this is just insane. It's even more intense than the original. So they admit they've done some dodgy stuff, and I've got it all on tape. Just need to get here, out of here alive to show someone. Bye. Yeah, locked down this way. I was, I'm a patient like you, stole these clothes from a dead body I found. You gotta get me out of here, please, just push the button, open the door, we can get out of here together. No, no! Follow those guys, hopefully I can make it out. Let me out, let me out. Motherfuckers. Well, I think I know where I'm going now. Seriously, where the fuck do you go in this? Right, there I go. Okay, so on the other side of that gate now. At least I was relatively safe the other side. Not been through that way, so through here. I think we'll have to stay low and stay quiet at this point. Does not sound good. If anything, that sounds like a circular saw. But let's not try to find out. There he is, right there. Crazy guy with a saw. <laughs> Fuck this. I need to open that gate, but it's handcuffed shut, so I need to find me some keys. Oh shit. That crazy guy with the saw roaming in the corridors.
Okay, so I managed to escape him for now, but he's still roaming the corridors looking for me. So we'll hold off for a minute. Shit, he's right there. Oh, come on, where are these fucking keys? Fuck, that's not good enough. He knows we're in there. Ah, fuck. Oh, son of a bitch is waiting on us. Keys. Yeah, fuck you, cannibal. Okay, that's enough running and hiding for one night, so I'm going to leave this episode here. There'll be a new whistleblower episode out every Tuesday. If you enjoyed this and want to see what happens next, why not give us a like and subscribe and come back for more. If Call of Duty, FIFA, GTA, indie games or vloggers are more of your thing, then check out some of the other videos on our channel. We'll have two new videos a day, so there'll be something for everyone. I'll catch you on the next video. See you all next time.